Hey ho and welcome back. For this tutorial we'll be talking about the erase feature on the toolbar. Once again and always I will remind you that you just slide the toolbar back and forth and that you can change it to be on the bottom or on the top just by flicking it with your finger. I'm actually going to pick out a new photo for this so I'm going to go ahead and import. We'll edit a photo and I'm going to go to my sketchbook, which is an in-app U-Doodle feature. Your camera roll will, of course, access anything that you have on your camera roll. With camera, you can take a picture. You can take backgrounds. Those are preset by us. We put a lot of backgrounds in there. And you can pull them out of other apps. But in our sketchbook, let's see. I'm going to flip the pages by swiping. And I don't really have one in mind. Let's pick this one, the wing. Do I want to pick this drawing? Okay, I do. Alright, uh, in this screen right here, this is where you can actually rotate things. If you want to fly upside down, you can reverse it. You can crop, like so. I'm going to leave it full size and hit done. Now, just really quickly, I'm going to put a handful of things. Just draw with the brush tool. Uh, I think I want some people running through here. So, here we go. Oh, man, look at all those people running around. So, we're going to talk about the erase feature, second on the toolbar. Do not let yourself be fooled. If you want to erase something, it will erase everything. Let's undo that. If I wanted to get rid of just those hieroglyphic running people, I would go ahead and use that left button at the top and undo it. Undo and erase are different. I'm going to redo that. Now let's say that I just want to take out the bottom part of this picture altogether. I can erase it. You can change the size. I just want to erase in small strikes uh, the softness and the opacity. You'll see that the softness kind of changes the edges a little bit. And I'm not sure how that changed the opacity. An interesting thing. Let's experiment opacity down. Opacity up. Oh, cool. I learned something new today. Okay, so let's undo a lot of that. And let's go back. Yep, the opacity is still up. So when you've got your opacity closer to the one value here, you'll see that when you try to erase, or when you do erase, it's barely, barely, barely changing something. If you go over the same line over and over and over and over and over again, Obviously, that's going to erase it more. So, that's really cool. Wow. I love this app. Okay, but typically when I use it, I admit, I just erase everything. Whatever it is I want to erase, that's what I do. And this is useful in various ways, including if you want to then refill that with, say, a different texture or a different color. Uh, then put words over top of it. I mean, the, the possibilities really kind of are endless. But point being, if you want to erase something, use the eraser. If you want to just undo your work, use that undo button there at the top left. 